Hello there, it's Rob at Reason101.net, back for another Reason tutorial. Um, this time I'm going to talk about Kong. So let's open up a Kong device. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to explore some of the alternate ways in which we can use Kong. In this instance, I'm going to create a parallel, um, parallel drum processing module. So let's start off with a bass drum. Got a nice bass drum there. And you might think that you can't parallel process in just a single Kong, but you would be wrong. So what you can do is you can flip around to the back. Um, we're not going to use these sends, um, so let's just delete those for now. Um, I am going to use the main out. I'm also going to send another out, pair three and four, go to channel two on the mixer. Uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip around. On the bus effects, I'm going to add in order a, an, an EQ, and on the master effects, I'm going to add in a compressor. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the frequency down. I'm going to put a little gain on there, lift up the Q. I'm going to put a hard compression so that you can hear the difference. All right, let's put a pretty high makeup gain. Okay, now you'll notice that right now what's happening is you're sending one Kong drum output here through the direct outs. Okay, that's your dry sound. Now we want a process sound that goes through this. In order to get that effect, turn up your bus effects. Okay, I'll put it up pretty high just so you can hear this. Okay, now what's going to happen is. Let's see, we're sending that out through there. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, now let's change this to the output three and four. Okay, so that's directing that the outputs go to three and four as well. Um, now, when you play it, you hear that beefier sound? That beefier sound is brought to you by the EQ and the compressor. Okay. Now the way this works, it's pretty basic, um, but what's going on is the drum output is being output to three and four. Okay, so your dry signal is actually going straight from the bass drum here through the pad by playing your pad and through the main, or sorry, through the output three and four into channel two. Okay, that's your dry sound. What's happening here though is the main out is still being processed. And the main output is going through your bass drum, and then through your bus effects, and then through your master effects. And then it's going out, being output to channel one. So that gives you that nice combination sound. And that's how you can do some parallel drum processing in Kong. I hope you've enjoyed this. Again, it's Rob. Come visit me at reason101.net. And uh, once again, thank you very much for watching.